Hey guys, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these really cool 3D letters in Cinema 4D. You can see it's got a cool glow on the insides with the blue and it's got like a cool cream colour on the outside and yeah, it looks really cool and they work best on headers, advertisements and anything really that really suits the style you're going for. But uh, yeah, it looks really cool and I'm going to teach you guys how to do that today. So um, the, the Lightroom I'm going to be using in today's video is uh, rated 40,000 subscriber light, uh, Lightroom I think it is. The link will be in the description for you guys to download from his video. But um, yeah, once you've done that, uh, once you open the Lightroom, which is in one of the folders, uh, you're just trying to find one of the folders in his 40,000 subscriber pack. Um, when you when you open the Lightroom, there'll be text here, and it will basically have. Uh, Motext, and I think you'll have two Motexes, so you'll have two here. You just want to select them both and press delete just because um, we're gonna be making our own from scratch, and uh, yeah, we don't really want to use his. So, uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to MoGraph and then Motext basically to get new text here, obviously. And then, um, yeah, so once we put that in the middle, we can just use our move tool just to do that. We can zoom in, we want it to be center with our cameras because we don't really want to be moving our camera around too much because then it can be hard to align it when you're rendering it and yeah, so just keep it in line as much as you can and uh, yeah, now once you've done that you're going to click on your mode text and you want to change the depth the depth is basically how 3D you want it to be you can see it when I change that then, um, I can change how thick it is, how thick the letters are and uh, I think the depth, I'm going to go for about 60 on this one I think 60 would be good and uh, I'm going to change the text to tutorial, so let's just do that okay, that's good and um, yeah, so once we've done that, you're going to make sure it's centered again. Just by using these arrows, you can just move it, obviously. And um, yeah, so now we're going to go to the font. And but I'm gonna, for this font, I'm going to use typographic, I think it's called. So let's just try and find it. Uh, I think bold fonts work best. That's why I'm using typograph. Uh, typograph, that's it. And uh, yeah, the link to download this font will be in the description, so you guys can go do that for yourself. And uh, yeah, so you want to, you might want to zoom out. You might even want to make it a bit smaller just by going to this tool over here. And you can just click and drag inwards just like that and then we can center it up again and okay so you can now you can see that we got our text here and uh, we got our font sorted and we sorted out the thickness now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a kind of a cool effect so um it basically makes these corners less harsh so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to click on our mo text then go to caps which is right here you can click on start it will have fillet cap and we're gonna do the same for end and as you can see, now we've got these little ridges on the corner of the text. Whereas before, um, it was, no, it was not that. It was just, uh, literally just a corner. But when we have fillet cap, it basically adds a little ridge in there. It just makes it look a lot cleaner and, look, and it just makes it look a lot nicer. And for the steps, we want to keep them both on one. It doesn't really matter. And uh, for the radius, we want to put them on three. So, uh, I don't know. I think it just presets to whatever was there. Uh, the last time you used the Lightroom, so uh, I think it, it, I think it usually defaults to five. So you might need to change that to three. And uh, yes, yeah, so now we got a cool text. Let me show you a quick render for you guys. Uh, I'll just render a quick region. So um, just press OK, and um, then you guys can see that this cool ridge effect that we have going on. And yeah, it looks pretty cool. We can actually decrease the ridge if we wanted to, but I think I'm going to keep it the same for now. And uh, yeah, so now we've done that, we're going to duplicate this text. So click on it, press Command C and Command V to duplicate it. And then we're going to change our fillet cap uh, on both of the the start and the end. We're going to change them both to five, uh, just so it has a bigger ridge. And we're going to go to Object and we're going to change the depth. Wait, the depth on this one. Oh wait, I thought we changed it to sixty. So let's just change it back to sixty. And then um, on the sec on the one we copied, I want to change this to probably just a bit, probably about 10 less. So we're going to change this to 50. And um, yeah, so now that we've done that, this the the one that the the text that we just copied should be just thinner than the first text that we originally made. And now we're going to go side on using this um, icon in the top right corner, and we're going to make sure that our copied text is actually centered with the first text that we made. I might actually decrease the depth a bit just so it's a bit easier to see. So I might do it to about 45. Um, yeah, so you just want to make sure it's centered. And um, yeah, and then we can carry on. Okay, so you now you want to return back to your original position. So just zoom out and then align yourself again just like you did before. And uh, we're not going to be adding the colors just yet because as you saw in the preview that we had like a blue in the, in the inside of the letters. And we're not going to add that just yet. So um, what we're going to do now is 
click on but no, we're gonna click on the bottom text to press shift and click on our top one just to, to select them both then we're gonna press C on our keyboard and what it does is it basically makes these two folders kind of and um, you want to open up all your all the folders and you're just gonna drag these individual letters out so just hold shift and select them all just click and drag them out then you can delete that and then um, we're gonna do the same to the first text as well and uh, now you can see that we have all of the letters from both of the well it's basically one word but we have both the letters I mean all of the letters from both of the texts that we had and uh, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the the same letter for both texts so you can see there's an L here and there's an L here uh, one's got the thicker letter one's got the thinner one and then you want to go to object and then group objects and uh, you're just going to do this for all the layers I mean for all the letters it, sh it shouldn't take too there probably is a shortcut for this but um, yeah we're, we're just going to keep doing this just because I don't know the shortcut um, so yeah, it's going to go for each letters go to object group object and what this basically does is it makes it so that each change that we do to one individual letter it will change to both of the text because if we like for example if we added the um, the random effect which we will be adding it will only do it to one of the text and then they won't in the, they won't line up and uh, yes yeah, so you make sure you want to group all the letters first and uh, yes yeah, so now you've done that you want to click and shift and then click the bottom so you select them all then go to MoGraph and then fracture and then you want to put these and then hold shift and select them all again and then put these in the fracture and now you can go to MoGraph effector random now you can see that all of our letters are have literally just spread out randomly and um, yeah so um, when you go to your randomize to a tool panel down here you want to uncheck position because we don't really want to change the position we just want to change the rotation so um, yeah so now that we've changed our rotation we can I mean once we've checked rotation we can just increase the angle and yeah so just find whatever you see looks best uh, obviously it will be random every time so it will look different each time you do this which is another good thing as well and um, okay it's looking pretty cool right now and um, as you can see the T is a bit spread out so if you do have any spread out letters you just want to find the group that of that has the T you can just move it closer literally just like that it's really that easy and uh, yeah so um, now that we've done that uh, what you want to do is you want to open up all of the text uh, groups and this is where we're going to add the color so yeah so what you want to do is you want to double click on your materials panel don't click on don't double click on one of the layers or the otherwise it will just open up an, a material that's already open I mean that, that's what that was already been made so you just want to double click on the side and then we can make a new material just double click on that one so now we can edit it you want to right click on the circle or the sphere in the top left and then we're going to change it to uh, object soft shadow and now you can see that this emblem has changed I think this just basically makes it uh, makes the textures look a bit more realistic and a bit more high higher quality. And yeah, so now we're going to find the color. So we could go for a red, but I think I'm going to go. F I think bright colors look like the best. So I was thinking of going for a bit of a red, but I think we're going to go for a blue, just like the preview that I had before. So just press OK, and then you can see that because it's really nice blue on the sphere that we got here. And uh, I also like to turn up the glow just a little bit. So um, I'm going to go over to glow, uh, check the box. And then the only thing we're going to be changing here is the outer glow and I'm going to change this down to about 200% because 500% can be a little overpowering and we don't really want that. And uh, yeah, so now that we've made our texture, we can just click and we're going to drag it onto the top letter of each folder. So we can just click and drag down, I mean hold shift and drag down just to copy it onto each one. And then you can, as you can see on the left here, well it might be a bit hard to see that, but the inside of each letter is starting to get the um, starting to get the color, and that is because we the the thinner version has the higher fillet cap, which makes it pop out in the sides of the main text. And there we go. We've basically added the colors to the sides of each of the letters. And now what I can do is I can press render and press OK, and um, yeah, it should be it should look pretty nice. And let's just wait for this, and um, you won't see the glow until the, it's completely rendered. But uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty nice. Like I said before, I do like to use these on kind of like uh, advertisements and he on headers. But I wouldn't, pro I probably wouldn't use this technique on like regular 2D headers, obviously, because this is 3D text, and it wouldn't really make sense just to put it on a random 2D header. 
and uh, yeah this takes really looks really cool and uh, as you can see the O and the R are quite far apart so what I'd probably do is I'd probably move them a bit, a bit closer together but um, for the sake of the tutorial I'm not going to do that just because I've shown you how to do it and um, you guys can now make any text that you want yourself and it's really customizable obviously you didn't have to use this font but I just thought that this, this font looked, works best and uh, yeah so uh, that's basically how you do this tutorial guys if you did find it helpful don't, leave, don't forget to leave a like if you do have a tutorial idea that you want me to make don't forget to leave a comment and I'll be sure to do it if it's a good idea and uh, yeah so thank you guys for watching this tutorial don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video